What the life was like for countryside families in the area of Srem at the beginning of the last century, one can find out in the Ethno House Stajkov in Boljevci. It is a village on the left bank of the Sava River, some 40 km upstream from Belgrade or 29 km via land road. The original settlement was directly on the river bank, but due to frequent flooding, the inhabitants moved a little bit to the west, on a higher altitude. They used to say, will be better, better, which in Serbian sounds bolje, bolje, hence the name Boljevci. It is one of the seven villages that belong to the youngest municipality in Belgrade, Surčin, which bases its economic development on tourism. It is not far from downtown Belgrade, and yet it is far enough, so the guests have the impression of actually being at a real tourist destination. Boljevci and other villages can be reached either by the city transport lines or on your own, by small boats or even by bike. Being so close to the Nikola Tesla airport and with very interesting tourist offer, it can be recommended to tourists from all around the world. The Ethno House Tychov should be seen because it tells the story of the centuries-long cohabitation of the Serbs and Slovaks. The owner of this facility is Georgi Milovanovic Stajko, and the adaptation was financed by the city of Belgrade five years ago as part of the project entitled Old Yard. The guests are welcomed with the mulberry brandy. Once upon a time there were many mulberry trees in the village, so the brandy was often made of those. Today, alas, the trees are few and the brandy too is a rarity. The story begins with the historical data of Slovaks who came to these areas two and a half centuries ago. So today it is the southernmost point where they live in such great numbers. It is this joint life that Stajko wanted to portray by furbishing one room in his house of birth in the Serbian style and the other in the Slovak. The kitchen and dining room are also decorated with authentic furniture and items and the visitors are served typical SRAM snack. Homemade bread with grease and special red pepper, as well as the poppy strudel and homemade sour cherry juice. We should not forget the mulberry brandy and homemade wine either. In the Ethno House Tycho one can observe the furniture and interesting household items, many of which have been out of use for a long time, but go well with this educational, cultural and historical presentation, which keeps the past safe from oblivion. Our host is very proud of some items that he grew with and knows their history, as well as all those things he was given by the locals, both Serbs and Slovaks. Those are not true museum pieces, although experts say that the majority would fit well into that category. We are shown a gramophone both in Milan in 1906, ice skates older than the average human lifespan, Philips radio from 1930, ceramic oven more than a century old, and many more things that could not be seen in ordinary countryside households. The people were giving pieces of their past and Georgi Milovanovic has collected it all in the section of the house which he calls the Room of Village Memories. Both Serb and Slovak rooms are replete with various items, details and decorations. Displayed are the artworks, like paintings or embroidered bed sheets, garments and utilitarian items. In the Slovak room the attention is attracted by boxes that were made and decorated by girls ready to be married. They would hold something embroidered that the future bride was to give to the groom. He would then take it to his home so that the relatives and friends could see how able the girl was. Plethora of handicraft pieces have stimulated the owner of the Athen house to organize here the souvenir making workshops like embroidering and painting on bottles or ceramic. In the yard there is the renovated stable, maize crib and the shed that holds a horse wagon, sledge, coach, barrels, tubs, brandy distillery, various wooden tools, as well as plows and sewing gear. As part of the house there is also a big open room with tables and benches for taking rest. Tourists and especially the foreign ones are fascinated with what they can see here. Stajko says that one time a guest from Germany asked how he had come to the idea of opening an Athno house, and he answered that while traveling across Germany he had seen people keeping plows and wooden shoes on the walls of village houses. Why then would he be ashamed of the embroideries which are truly artistic? Her comment is the message for the future. Dear friend, if you do not know what you carry behind you, then you do not know where are you heading before you.